let's look at some old animation I did for an old TV show. These are the Animaniacs. Some of you may have seen them when you were younger or when you were older. And my assignment back then was to animate the Animaniacs running into the scene, having a little bit of uh, business, and then ending up standing like this. So what I did was, let's go to the first drawings. So I have the first guy come running in and let's put it on the pegs here. So you can see what I did. And there's his first step to run in and his foot goes down to the ground and he squashes down. This is Yakko and Wacko. And then he springs up to run and notice the follow through lines. And he takes the next running step And now he is, his foot's going down. He's just dragging these guys as he runs. And they go up and down as he goes up and down. His arm goes down, his arm goes down, her arm goes down. But he keeps going up in the air. She stepped, she jumps up in the air. And then um, what's happening here is the background is panning. It's panning this way. So it looks like it gives the illusion that they're running and the background's going. And then um, continue to run. Not an easy thing having three characters running at one time. But somehow I managed. That's why we were there. So let's take a bunch of drawings and roll them and see what see what I was doing. So there's one drawing, the next one, the next one. And the next one. This is drawing 21. All this is on twos and I number the drawings with odd numbers. So in case any action needs to be smoothed out, I can add an even number drawing in there to smooth the action out. So as you see, I kept the action of the arms flowing. This guy is now going up. He's about to, he's going down just a little bit. Her foot is here. Now it's here. Her leg squashes a little bit. And now his leg goes down. And he is going to stop here. And he's about to swing them around him. And there you see the, the whip as he whips them around. He whips them around the ground. I think I might have had the the pan still going just a little bit here as he continues whipping them around. And he goes into his big pose. His left arm goes up, his right arm is holding on to them as he whips them around, continuing. And Dot almost goes off screen. 
with the whip. And here, I think her legs do go off screen. And Yako goes back. And he leans way back like that. And his hand starts to come down. And then he snaps up. And he's going to pull them back over to his right. And they are going behind him, it looks like. And continue behind him. And now they're coming in front of him. And there's Dot coming. She's going past camera. She's a little bit bigger because she's closer to camera. I'll skip ahead to two drawings here. As she continues back. And the two of them now are coming around him. And let's skip ahead a couple more drawings as they go around yet again. And he comes, Yako is off his feet at this point. And he's off balance a little bit. Hanging in there as he snaps over to camera right. Let's take those off. I did so many drawings for this. And now, this drawing, as they continue to whip around him, there they are, still going. This is their, their, their kind of stop pose where they relax. And that's more and I think they start to unwind at this point. <clears throat> they look up at him, he looks down at them, they smile, we're up to drawing 135, so, you know this took me a couple of days doing all this drawing. And now, she puts her hand out as they start to, to unwind. That's what's going on now. They start to unwind and go back around in the other way. And you can see I put some charts here just so I could keep up with what I was doing. And added an even number in there. Now they're winding go around this way. And there's another even number. As they unwrap, they go backwards. And so the ultimate thing is that they're going to come down and land. And here they are landing, squashing down, and coming up to a standing pose. <clears throat> to their final standing pose. And this is all settling into that pose, slowing into that pose. 
and this is the final pose. And they're just standing with their hands on their hips. So the differences between the drawings are slight as it get, gets to the end. So it goes here, and this one, and this one, and this. There's very slight differences between these two poses as they settle into it, they slow into this final pose. And I had to make up exposure sheets for it, these old Warner Brothers exposure sheets. Um, these notes are just for me. So we start off with nothing, nothing in both columns here. We come down and now we just pop on drawing one of Yakko running in. And I use odd numbers, like I said. I use even numbers just to smooth out an action here and there. I put this action on ones coming down here. And continuing on on ones through a lot of this. And then we hold drawing 89 for this long, about uh, one second. And I think this was popping their eyes to look at each other. And now we start to whip back around. I didn't put any drawings between 113 and 135. And now they, I think this is another look or a blink or something. And now we start to unwind and go back into ones here for a lot for that action as they unwind really fast and then hold on drawing 179. That's the last drawing. And it just continues to hold on the final page. So that was how I animated Yakko, Wacko, and Dot running into a scene for Animaniacs. This was not in a show. This was just development work as they were figuring out who the characters were. So there's your Animaniacs animation lesson for today. And we'll do another one next time. Until then, keep drawing.